Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to PR Media, your home for everything movies and music through my eyes. And today we have a review of the new Russell Crowe led film, Unhinged. Unhinged is a 2020 American thriller film directed by Derek Bort, and the film stars Russell Crowe, Karen Pistorius, Gabriel Bateman, Jimmy Simpson, and Austin P. McKenzie in a film that follows a young woman who is harassed by a seemingly unstable stranger following a road rage incident. Now normally this isn't the type of film that I go to a theater and see, it might be one I catch on streaming service or on home media, but the fact that it's the first new nationwide release in five months amid the COVID-19 pandemic, I had to go out to my local theater and support it, and I really think you should too if it's in your area. But as far as the film itself, it's a bit of a mixed bag for me. The, my major gripe with it is that there's nothing really new that it brings to the table plot-wise, so that's a little bit disappointing. Early on, there's the opening scene actually is pretty shocking and you think, okay, is this the character's motivations? Do I already have him pinned down? You think there's a twist coming later, but there's no twist coming. So you can kind of just know beat by beat what's going to happen in the film, but in its ex execution is where the film shines. This film is brutal. There's some brutal violence. It reminds me of when I watched The Invisible Man earlier this year and how brutal the violence in that film was, and this is right up its alley. Russell Crowe's presence in this film really helps it stand out above the crowd, and I think he, he adds a lot of charisma to the role, and if there was another actor in this film, I don't think you would see it hitting theaters, especially with the kind of push that it's seen worldwide, and it's, it's okay. It's short at an hour and 30 minutes. I thought they were going to ramp up to an even bigger ending, but nope, they cut it right at 90 minutes. They're like, get them in, get them out, make them forget that they spent $10 on a ticket for a film they've seen before just because it's, it's breaking the COVID-19 pandemic and it's going to open the floodgates for more movies to come. I didn't really love this movie overall. I think it was an okay watch. I think the acting in it was as adequate as you can ask for. Russell Crowe's a bit one note. He basically acts like a nice southern gentleman for a little bit and then he just grunts and growls and yells for the remainder of the film. And it does add a little bit of intrigue when he is going after her family. No spoilers, I won't tell you what happens. And the ending is pretty satisfying. I know in the theater I was in, people at the end of the movie were cheering and yelling and I thought that was a really cool theater experience. It felt like people were letting loose for the first time in quite a while in a theater and I appreciated seeing it. And I don't know if it was just my movie theater or my screening, but it seems like there was some justice brought to the movie theater because when I was watching it about 10 minutes in, these three teenage looking guys walked in. I'm like, oh no, they're going to be on their phones. And Lord behold it, they were on their phones. They were Snapchatting with the flash on. And this guy behind me, much to my surprise, was like, hey, shut that shit off. And they did it right away. Kudos to that guy because I haven't heard that kind of interaction in a movie theater in a long, long time, if ever. So... Hopefully this kind of, this pandemic at least <laughs> made movie theaters a little bit more enjoyable. So should you see Unhinged in theaters? I think if you want to go out and have a good time at a movie theater for the first time in a long time, you'll have some fun with this, even though it is a pretty dour film. There isn't a lot of cringeworthy lines to kind of feed off of, so it's not a so bad it's good movie. I think it's just a so decent it's average film. It's not going to stick with you for very long after the theater. I know I'm having trouble re remembering plot elements of it right now. I think you should support movie theaters while you have the chance. We might not get a lot of big prestige films for quite a while because they want as many theaters to be open so they can make as much money as possible. Because remember, at the end of the day, films are products. They're not just expressions of art, even though we'd like them to think they are. But Unhinged... I had a good time with it. I know I gasped a few times inaudibly. Don't worry, I'm, I'm pretty considerate of the other people in the theater at some of the violence. That was pretty shocking. And the ending was satisfying as easily as you can probably predict that what's going to happen. So Unhinged, I would give it a 6 out of 10, a barely passing grade, mostly because of the, it being the first movie in five months amid the COVID-19 pandemic. But a solid film overall that I might have watched one time on home media, but never really would have thought of again. So what did you think of the movie Unhinged? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching PR Media. My name is Parker Reed, and keep supporting physical media. See you next time.